What do you call a business that doesn't pay taxes but receives extra support from taxpayer funds? Whatever you call it, it's unfair and arguably exploitative of Guyanese taxpayers. Perhaps Guyanese taxpayers are being unnecessarily paranoid. Or maybe not. Regardless, Guyanese taxpayers have a right to ask questions about how their tax dollars are being spent. I'm the Unspecialist. Let's talk about the system giving extra support to Chinese businesses that may not necessarily be paying back into the system. Divorce is hard, painful, and complicated. After the heartbreak comes paperwork. Washington Law Firm specializes in helping you through that process. We know how hard endings can be, so we take your legal representation seriously. At Washington Law Firm, we provide serious help for serious legal matters like divorce. To book your free consultation, call 718-877-3100. Or find us at 455 Utica Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. If you'd like to advertise with us, be sure to make contact via our Facebook page. You can also inquire about hiring me to host your events, record voiceovers, or radio ads. The beautiful voice that you heard in the ad on this video is also available to you along with many others. As the number of Chinese-owned businesses nationwide increases, many of them have become the target of bandits. In wake of an increase in the number of attacks and robberies of Chinese-owned businesses in Guyana and the recent robbery and murder of a Chinese supermarket owner, the Chinese ambassador to Guyana recently met and held discussions with the top brass of the Guyana police force on the issue of security and safety of Chinese citizens and their businesses in Guyana. During the Tuesday meeting, Chinese ambassador Guo Haiyang offered appreciation to the Guyana police for its rapid investigation of the recent murder case of a Chinese citizen, while hoping that the Guyana police force would take further practical measures to safeguard the safety of Chinese citizens and shops in Guyana. At the most basic level, the Chinese ambassador is making a reasonable request. Her concerns for Chinese citizens and shops are shared by many Guyanese as well. Being able to do business in a safe environment is essential, as is a business owner's right to protect themselves and their business. I don't think anyone disagrees with that sentiment. So let's get back to the article. The ambassador said Chinese citizens will have to increase precautions and take additional measures to protect themselves. In a statement, the Chinese embassy said the acting police commissioner has indicated that additional protective measures will be adopted for Chinese citizens, especially Chinese shops. The two sides also had an in-depth exchange on further improving the safety and security of Chinese citizens in Guyana, the statement added. With scores of Chinese businesses opening up in Guyana over the past few years, many of them have become targets for bandits. The situation has become worrying for local police and the embassy, as there have been almost weekly attacks and robberies committed on Chinese-owned businesses. Don't forget that the best way for you to support this series is absolutely free. All you need to do is like the video, leave an insightful comment, and share the video with someone who you think is going to benefit from this information. In the last episode of this series, we discussed how many of these businesses are evading taxes and cutting corners to gain an unfair advantage. Now, already boasting an unfair advantage, you're seeing that these businesses are receiving a verbal commitment of additional protective measures from the Ghana police force. Beyond that, these businesses are already making use of government services and facilities like garbage disposal, for instance. Now imagine looking on at this as a local business who is fully compliant and fully abiding by all the laws. You may wonder, where is your extra protection? Or sometimes, in some cases, you may wonder, where are the basic protections and services that you're entitled to as a citizen? Now, of course, we have to understand that there is a diplomatic element to this, and this is something that is the fruit of international cooperation between two countries. However, the nature of diplomacy should never supersede the laws of your country, especially when it comes to things like your business environment. Time and time again, we see agencies like the Competition and Consumer Affairs Commission or the Ghana Revenue Authority claim that they are in place to support and maintain a fair competitive environment. However, in practice, as we'll observe throughout this series, this may not necessarily be the case. Naturally, we must accept that systems will never be perfect, never be fully functional. 
However, at the basic level, I think it's reasonable for citizens and especially Guyanese taxpayers to expect that these systems should at least work. This episode simply intends to show you the established narrative, show how these businesses are perceived in Guyana. As we seek to challenge that narrative, many questions will come to the fore. We've already begun the discussion about value-added tax, but there's so much more. Are these businesses paying PAYE? What about NIS? What about year-end taxes based on sales and purchases? We can also explore whether or not these businesses are obtaining the necessary licenses to stock and sell certain products. As a consumer, these are questions you should ask of any business, local or foreign. However, as we continue the series, it may become apparent to you how much more detrimental it is when foreign businesses are able to gain these unfair advantages. Do you have topics that you think we should explore in this series? Let me know down in the comments. Are there any other concerns that you may have? Feel free to share them at any point in time. Are there any other concerns or stories that you may have about these businesses operating in communities across the country? Be sure to contact us and let us know. As always, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.